The Brown Weekings rebounded from a disappointing opening tournament loss to the Windsor Spitfires as they shut out the Moncton Wildcats by a score of 4 to nothing. Jake Deseris got the start for the Weekings tonight and he battled through traffic all night long to keep the Cats off the scoreboard. Tony Riala led the way for the Wheaties, sniping the first two goals of the contest. Shane Weeb had a gritty effort trying to hit everything that moved while putting up two assists, including a beautiful pass to Braden Shen for an easy tap-in. Deseris made 31 stops for Brandon and he got the shutout. Nicolo Riopel led in four goals of the 38 shots he faced for the Moncton Wildcats. Great came from us and, uh, and uh, we go to the net, we went to the net and uh, shoot the puck, so that was, that was a great win from us. How much of a boost of confidence is going from the last game and then coming just having a great game to turn around the tournament? Yeah, Friday game, it was, it's, uh, we had a long break, three weeks, so it was pretty hard, hard for us. And, uh, but now we came back and we played so well that our defense game was a lot better than Friday. It feels great, you know. I, I mean, number one is uh, getting the win. But uh, obviously, the shutout feels great. I, I really haven't had too much time to think about it yet. But, uh, I mean, just, just thinking about it right now, it feels amazing. I think it was, it was a great all-around effort by everyone. We played a solid defensive game, and that's exactly what we needed to get back into the tournament. And we're, we're quite excited about it. And then we got to move on after tonight and get ready for the next game against Calgary. You know, had a much better effort in game two, but I think uh, even, you know, uh, past the obvious, I thought our guys played pretty well from start to finish. We uh, watched Moncton play yesterday and, and were uh, very impressed uh, by their team and knew that we would have to, you know, uh, play very well to, to have success. And, you know, we told Jake last night that he would be uh, getting the start. We needed, uh, uh, we needed his best game, and I thought that he was really, really good for us today. Yeah, you know, we didn't play our system at all. Uh, I think uh, I think we didn't put the puck behind their D and play there like we did with yesterday's game or, and all that. So we got to make sure that our next game we come out harder and we do that. Windsor, prime example of a team that was 0-2 last year and came back to win the Memorial Cup. Is that some motivation for you guys? Yeah, definitely. You know, we got to be positive and uh, make sure that uh, it shows that they did it last year and uh, we have a chance to do it this year. So uh, we got to make sure that we, uh, we come out stronger next game and play our system. I think it's pretty tough, uh, but you have to refocus. Uh, so the two games that you lost is done now, uh, it's the past, so you have to focus on the future and uh, you have to uh, watch Windsor and uh, be ready for the next game. No, I think Brandon had the puck a lot, and uh, uh, when the other team has the puck a lot, you're, uh, you're in your own end quite a bit. And uh, you know, we, I thought we started well. Um, I thought they got some, some, some timely scoring there to get that the first two. and kind of get momentum and uh, once we got down by three they scored in the power play we had to open it up and, and, and take chances and that's not the type of team that we have and not the style that we play and to open it up and play run and gun was, was something we're not comfortable with um, and they took advantage they had a lot of, of, of real good outnumbering situations and we're, we're a much better team when, when the score is close and we either we're up one or, 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 or behind by one. Um, we can play a much tighter checking game, and uh, uh, they got a very good team. They got uh, big, solid D. Their goaltender was excellent. Their their forwards played both well on both sides of the puck, and I, I don't think it's as much a, um, a situation where where our guys aren't getting it done. It's it's we're playing good teams that are well coached with good size and good skill, and 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 you got to fight for every inch. Moncton tries to avoid elimination on Tuesday when they play the Windsor Spitfires at seven o'clock. As for the Brandon Weekings, their next test will come against the team that put them out of the playoffs, the Calgary Hitmen. At the 2010 MasterCard Memorial Cup in Brandon, Manitoba, I'm Nathan Deering for Open Ice Hockey.